we're not going to watch a 30 32 minute video like i just we're not going to do that um but we'll watch just a little bit of it all right so before we start there's some information that needs to be given before we jump in on everything number one when shit is posted on the internet it is available for everyone of course it is like it's nothing new if it's out there everyone can use it right this is not about that this is more specifically about let me create a little bit of context this guy his name is moody he's actually been in my chat before we know him and uh he is accusing mr gm that's another wow content creator of stealing his ideas and his content for videos so this guy thinks that the other guy is stealing his videos a content creator a bigger creator that has been over me like a freaking hawk on everything i'm doing when i post something he does it similar when Ooh. i make a guide about something he literally checks it out the, the day after on his stream Ooh, and then he makes also a guide about it all the freaking time for years now this is not something that has been happening one two times this has literally been ongoing for years now okay i hope he's got some examples i do because they both do news about the game imagine if you had one weather station saying to another weather station why do you guys keep copying me bro we said it was gonna rain on tuesday you can't fucking say that like we already fucking said this we figured out that it's gonna rain you bro they just keep saying the same shit that we're saying like how does this happen so come on let's get some examples for this do that but have you guys ever seen any kind of credit with my name on that he has done if this person has a heart he should literally go out and come clean about what he has done especially i mean he's coming in pretty hot here like if he has a heart and he's stealing everything he needs to be credited etc this is a lot now when we're going to go into number two since there are viewers out there that will tunnel vision this video you will try to find like timestamps here and there some seconds here and there we're gonna be like oh look at this guy said haha lol what the fuck and stuff yeah. like that you're gonna take it out of context instead of looking at the entire video as whole you're gonna try to find some bad things here don't and there. try to guilt trip me into watching the whole thing man come on where are the examples? Okay, we've got some exam. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, we've got examples. Holy shit, we've got real examples. About what I'm saying okay. what I'm, what, and what I'm showing. And the question is, why would you do that? Well, number one, people follow him. He's a bigger creator. People uh -huh. have some kind of bond to him. People have met him. You know, stuff like that. So it's going to be hard to actually understand what is shown and try to have the closed eye instead. Now, we all saw what happened with the tweet that I did the other day. People went in like freaking hyenas on it. So that's why I'm saying it one more time. If this person has a heart, he should definitely come out and come clean and admit what he has done. I mean, I think that's a little bit wrong. You can't just say everybody disagreed with me. So it's the other person's responsibility to tell everyone that I'm right. That's not very, that's not a very good argument, is it? I don't think it's a very good argument at all. So we can take it from there and see what we can do about it. So now this is to you. What if the person sitting here was someone that is very special for you? What if this was one that is a relative or someone you this really- This is a bad argument too, because there's a reason why you have the jury for different trials and court not be family members or friends of the people that are affected by the court case. And it is in the pursuit of objectivity so you can't use an argument like what if this was happening to a person oh mr gm is in chat yeah yeah we're going over your stuff bro 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 why are you stealing everybody's stuff what are you doing stealing everybody's videos man what the fuck like someone you really care about and of course people are going to be biased for a person they care about this is a bad argument person what would you say then anyway let's move on number three now, this video has nothing Sorry. to do with money, okay. nothing to do with how I want to be seen or anything like that. Now, before you start laughing and be like, ha whatever, I'll tell you why. First things first, I'm banned on AdSense. Banned on AdSense means you don't get a single kroner, a single dollar 
on anything you show on YouTube. I've been banned since 2012. I've been doing these videos. You have ads on your on your channel, though. Like if you're banned on YouTube, like a YouTube video is just simply a portal to get people to go to your website, right? And your website has an embed of your stream that is, let's see if it's partnered or not. Um, it is partnered or it's at least affiliated. Uh, so you're still making money off of the YouTube videos, but it's just indirect. So to say that you don't make any money off of YouTube videos and then you don't care about that, that's an argument for why you shouldn't care about views or money. This isn't a strong argument. Because you're embedding your channel to give yourself more views on Twitch. And then your Twitch channel is at least affiliated, affiliated, maybe partnered. And on top of that, you have ads on your website. And your website is the primary thing that you have linked everywhere else. So while you not might not be making money off of YouTube, you are making money through YouTube and YouTube is a tool for you to make money, although it is not direct. I don't like whenever people say things that aren't true. It's intentionally misleading. Why are you saying something that this is dishonest? Why, why are you saying things that are dishonest? I don't understand this. What if it's unintentional? Oh, you think the ads got there for the, the ads just like, bro, where did all these ads come from? I remember I used that argument with looking at porn on my computer, on like the family computer in like 11. I'm like, mom, all these porn ads came up. I don't know where they came from. Yeah, she didn't believe it either. <laughs> they slipped and fell on all these ads. Because <laughs> it's fun. Nothing else. So making a video like this, well, Look at the like, this like. You're not just doing it for fun. You're making money off of it. Just, it's okay to make money off of it. Why? What's wrong with this? Why? 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 What is this? What's going on? Like, I love money. Money's great. What's wrong with wanting money? Wait, yo. Look at it right now. And then ask yourself again. Am I actually doing this because I want people to like me? I want them to be, to be seen? All right, now we come I think that you do want people to like you. That's why you were you were wanting Mr. I was gonna say Mr. Beast. It's another Mr. Mr. GM. Um, you're wanting Mr. GM to come out and clear the air and make people see that you were right. That's why you want him to do it. Is because you want people to like you. Like what? What is? There's nothing wrong with wanting people to like you. W what's with this dishonesty here? I don't understand it to number four now since i saw those those hyenas on the twitter this has nothing to word. do with world of warcraft news that i uh, that we're talking about when it comes to content okay it has nothing to do with anything that has been data mining this is literally stuff where you have to be in the game in the ptr or beta whatever it one second uh that was a bit of a jump his views in youtube are low and conversion to twitch subs will be ridiculously low if any um as somebody who's massively benefited from YouTube uh, and my Twitch channel benefiting from it, I don't think that's really true. And I think that even if it's a minor effect, it still is an effect. This website gets a lot of traction. Maybe it does. Is ...and spend several hours for several days for anything that you want to do research about mm -hmm. to figure out how things are working. Okay. I'm not popping up like something here and something there. My God, it's about stuff and how it works and figure out ways to farm different things or way to gear up in a fast way and stuff like that sure. so you have to do a lot of research in order to do that okay, so when i'm doing yes. all these things and see how it works and stuff like that and suddenly he pulls out something about from his ass that he has done for like 10 20 minutes and he has figured out how everything works that took literally several hours and weeks to figure out that doesn't go into my brain he's literally playing tts every stream and one to two hours of ptr a week that's what he's doing and he doesn't have even been saying on the streams that he plays tts off screen number five which is one of the most important ones the way he has responded to i think he meant ptr he must have meant ptr towards this when i'm actually telling him to stop doing what he's doing instead of reaching back talk about it discuss about it see where the problem is, I know, and take it from there. He has been insulting me. 
He has been insulting my stream. He has been insulting my website. He's been insulting all my content. Let's see so it. if a person tells you to stop doing something instead of talk to the person as a grown up man. Why would you listen to somebody else that tells you what to do? Why is he under any obligation to listen to you? Who are you? He's not, he has no obligation to listen to your grievance. He has no obligation to hear you out. He has no obligation to agree with you. He has no obligation even to have to hear you. The entitlement with this is very big. And he shuts the door and wants to talk shit about the person instead. Mm -hmm. And not only that, he's been manipulating his viewers about what the situation has been. He's been manipulating his other friends called the creators how the situation has actually been. He's been giving them a certain point of view that is literally a tunnel on how it actually looks. Number six. Okay. There are people that has been feeling the same way, the other, other content creators that has Who? been feeling the same way. Who? And been, been through the same that I've been through Who? from Mr. GM. Who? And then question is, but they? why have they not come out? Why have they not told, told uh, everyone about uh, what, what is actually happening? Well, I'm going to tell you why they haven't told them about it. Because doing something like this, like sitting right here and talking about all this shit, is ruining your career. No, it doesn't. I disagree. I think it only ruins your career if you're wrong. Now you might think, what about my career? I'm going to tell you about my career. My career is that I have a PhD in genetic immunology, wow. which means I'm a fucking pro when it comes to genetics and immune system. I'm a teacher and I'm a scientist. It's impressive. That is my career. This stuff is my hobby. Good for you. So if there's anyone that should come out and tell the world what he's been doing, I'm the one that should do that. Okay. Now, all that said, I'm going to tell you a story. So let's start the whole thing. All right. Now, I got to read quite a lot when I say these things because I wrote them down. I don't want to miss anything. That's, that's, I want everything to literally be on. No, I, I find that to be a relative argument, a relatively good argument. What he's saying is that my career is not based off of this. I do this and I have other real life ob obligations and things going on. I actually think this is kind of fair for him to say. He's saying that other people don't want to do it because they don't have another option. He's saying, I do, this is why I am going to do it, and this is my other option. He words it in a way, and like, to be fair, like, I've been pretty negative about what he said so far. So it's going to seem like he's wrong because people are, are like, they're, they're following it and everything else he said I pretty much disagreed with to some degree. But him saying this, I actually don't think is a bad thing to say. video so back in shadowlands okay. that's when i saw this person for the first time on stream mr G. he seemed like a nice guy i followed him okay and i subbed to him when i subbed i noticed there was a weird reaction not a thank you or anything just a shocked face i didn't think more of that at that time you know people are different in the world people react different people are people are who they are it is what it is okay. so since this person is doing similar things as me i thought it was super cool that I can watch someone that is doing the same stuff as me and maybe we can figure stuff out together. What I started noticing was that he was not happy when people told him things, not only me telling other people as well uh, on the chat, uh, about PTR stuff. Now, I found it very odd because this is not a new game that is out and you don't want any backseaters to tell you this and this and that. This is literally something that is on testing. We're trying to figure out how things are working, what is new and stuff like that, right? For example... Well, I think people probably wouldn't want to hear about it because they're not talking about it on the stream, right? It's like somebody wouldn't want to hear about PTR whenever they're doing a transmog run or something because they're talking about something else. Yeah, I don't think this is a... I don't think this is a strong argument. When I do it on my stream, I love when people come to me and be like, Oh, did you see this? Did you see that? Oh, then we do, you know, we do stuff together and figure stuff out together and stuff like that. So I thought it was very odd that he, that he reacted that way. After some time... I also noticed one major thing, okay. which is the core. When I found something on PTR and checked how it worked and put a lot of time and effort and a lot of trials and errors to see how this works and finally made a guide about it, once I published it, and only once I published it, the day after, or if I did it during the weekend, the weekend after, because he doesn't stream on weekends, okay. the weekend after, he started looking at the exact same things on his stream. And also saying all the time 
wow, no one has shaked this. No one has mentioned this. And every time he says that, he goes into Wowhead and use Wowhead as a reference that they haven't checked this. So when I saw this... Um, okay, so what he's saying is basically Mr. GM is taking his video ideas and then passing them off as his own. Um, I think passing them off as your own is kind of problematic, but everybody steals everybody's ideas. Like, I remember I would see other people's videos and I would watch them. And I'd be like, this sucks. I can do this way better. I'm going to go do it myself and it's way better. Everybody watches my video and their video sucks. That's just how it is. And also, I think that if you are, and this is kind of like what the problem is. This is kind of goes back to the weather example at the beginning, is that if you actually have the best farming method, would it not be logical to assume that other people arrive at the same conclusion that you do? Because, for example, like, I, I, ma I made a lot of videos in, like, Warlords of Draenor and Cataclysm, and even leading into Legion, that were very popular videos. Like, here, I'll give you a good example of this. So... What's up, y'all? It's me. It's your boy, Asmongold. And today... And so, anyway, um, this video here, I was the first person to do this grind. I was the first person. You will never see another video, as far as I know, that predates this video on December 24th, fucking Christmas Eve, Big Dick Never Stops, and 2013 that did this farm. And do you know why? Because nobody was as good as me. Nobody had the gear I had, and nobody could do it. I was the first person who even had the ability to do it. And most people couldn't do it until Warlords of Draenor. Because this is back whenever I was I was good at the game. I had full Mists of Pandaria, Siege of Orgrimmar, Warforged, fully upgraded gear. I was a fucking god. Every single parse I had was orange. I had multiple top 10 parses in the world. I was just one of the best, and that's all there is to it. And so, of course, I was the first person to make this video. It's natural. And so, after I made this video, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, wow, gold farming. Bastion of Twilight. It's a lot. A lot of people steal my idea. And do you want to know why I found it first? It's because I was playing the game all fucking day, the same as he is. And on top of that, I was on the cutting edge, and nobody else was able to do it before me. That's it. Yeah, one to two years later. People couldn't do this until Warlords of Draenor. So what I'm saying is, like, this is just the way things go. As soon as you put a video out... Oh, I'm just... No, I'm just drinking soda. Yeah, I would just play live. Like, back then, I would just, like, turn on my camera and be like, all right, guys, we're going to do a video. So I would record everything live, one take, the whole thing. And the reason why is I just didn't want to have to deal with uh, having to cut. That's it. Yeah, it's the same cut, by the way. Yeah, look at all that damage. You think people could do that normally? Absolutely not. I'm doing 2 million DPS. It's just, it's just normal for me. I remember uh, trash cans that would make this farming spot. They had to run out of the instance to make these guys despawn because they couldn't do the damage. But yeah, I had the same thing happen with me. Everybody is going to do this. This is a normal, this is a normal progression of content. And also, other people found this. It doesn't necessarily mean they stole it from me. It just means that whenever they had the ability to do it, they saw, oh, wow, this is a really good idea. Let's do it. That doesn't mean that, like, I own the idea. I don't have a trademark on this idea. It's just that I was the first person to do it and capitalize on it. And then other people, whenever it became available to the public because of WAD scaling and stuff, uh, then they were able to do it after that. Upload to the internet equal it's ours now. Exactly. And that's just how things go. Over and over, I saw through him. I saw through what kind of play he plays. So I unsubbed Ooh. and thought, Ooh. fuck this guy. The more Ooh. time went by, the more I saw his name popping up on my Twitter feed. Ooh. I don't even follow him. And many times I saw the different tweets. I was like, wait, what? That kind of reaction I got. Because it was always like after I publish something, I see these things. 
So I started watching his stream again. And it was the same pattern mm -hmm. as before. After I published a guide or something new that I found on PTR, he started to look at it on his stream, stating the same stuff. No one checked this and continued with his tweets. This pattern continued over and over. If Mr. GM's better, videos are better though, and he's competing with you in the free market and people choose to watch his videos and not yours, I think that's a tough shit situation. Sometimes it's better to be best rather than first. There are a lot of people that bring out videos about things that aren't very good. And then somebody else brings out a video that's actually very good. And that video is now the definitive video. Over into Dragonflight as well. 23rd February this year. Dragonflight has been out for a while. I previously published a guide on Artisan Curios. Okay. Which took many days on stream to find and how to spawn the 13 hidden rares. Figure out with several people that has been on the stream as well with me, helping each other out to figure out how things are working. This took loads of time to figure out. Sure. Eventually. Yeah, I did this stuff myself in Warroad to Draenor. This stuff does take a lot of time. The guide came out. Now, this has been in a very long time on the PTR about the Ocean Curios. But the day after I published it, Mr. GM tweets that he's uh -huh. going to go live and he will check exactly this thing, the Arch and Curios. And not only that... Checking out new profession things and what on earth they do on a forbidden reach. Also opening every door. I've missed you. Let's catch up. And then Moody says, stop it. Just stop it. It's getting way too obvious now. Now, Moody, I'm going to have to be honest, man. This is 100% main character syndrome. Nobody thinks this is fucking obvious except for you. Nobody is watching your guides, keeping track of what they are, and then making the decision on it. Like, this is, come on, man. Like, I'm not even saying that you're wrong, but, like, this is, like, an example of, like, a person who's trying to make at least a point, making it in the worst way possible. Mr. GM says the dev who made it messaged me to check it out. I mean, who knows? He literally figures all out mm -hmm. in literally 20 minutes. That took us days to figure out together on this. Uh, reinforced leather patch. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and look into this. So this is a person who's put out a bunch of information about this. And this was on 321. I'm trying to see if there are... What I'm trying to find if is if there are Wowhead comments that predate him going live. That would create plausible deniability that he didn't look at his guides and he actually got the information from something else. How about Tuning Fork? Let's see if we can find that. Let's see about this. Comments... Okay, oldest first. It looks like there are no comments on this on Wowhead. Stream. So, when he did that tweet, he says, checking out the new profession things mm -hmm. and what on earth they're doing for within reach. All right. That was the first time, the first time, where I wrote to him and said, stop it. Just stop it. It's getting way too obvious now. So what did he do? He went in on his stream. He showed my website. And insulting it. That's what he did. Some days Where's later, it continued. And after spending loads and loads of okay, hours... there's no clip. There's no clip. I, I mean, like, you've got to have a clip. Like, if you want to say that, like, that's fine. But we got to see the clip. Yep. No foundation. And days on the PTR, figure things out. He still continued doing the same things. So I sent him a tweet. I wrote, How unfucking usual that you always find these things someday after I publish them. Good job, man. Good fucking job. What a hero. And people call you the guy that finds stuff in WoW. More like the fakest cunt in WoW. <laughs> I love this. This is so good. <laughs> it's just... I like this guy, it's so fucking good. Bro, oh my god. Wow, is this even real? Yes.
It gets it's getting serious. Bro, one more. These things someday after I publish them. Good job, man. Good fucking job. What a hero. And people call you the guy that finds stuff in WoW. More like the fakest cunt in WoW. And then I had another Jesus. tweet because when I wrote this stop it to him the first time, he was insulting my, my website. Uh -huh. He was saying that he doesn't even know who I am at all. So I tweeted this as well. You've been actually defending yourself saying that you never know who I was when I called you out last time about this. Then why the fuck do you got images on your YouTube video that I've taken? You never... Man, let's look at the video and let's confirm this. Uh, that is something you can do once you get the unlock uh, at Renown 13. At Renown 14, you're going to get some Crafter's Knowledge, which is really nice. Uh, this happens a couple times, as you can see, Crafter's Knowledge 1 uh, during the Renown tree. Uh, and also at Renown 14, you get a account-wide unlock of a Muruk Eagle. Now, this is actually really cool. This is kind of similar to Katie's Stamp Whistle. Uh, the Eagle will fly in, uh, has a three-hour <coughs> cooldown, I believe, and you'll be able to access your mailbox as and when you need to. So that's really cool. Kind oh, of like another a, one of those. Yeah, an extra Katie's Stamp Whistle, which is nice. And around 15, you can get more unlocks for your drinks. Okay. Well, okay. The plot thickens. Uh, well, now, now, now things are getting interesting. Oh, this is this is getting very interesting. It's not that he was credited. Listen to what Moody says again. My website. He was saying that he doesn't even know who I am at all. So I tweeted. That's what he was disproving. So it's not about crediting. Where's the proof of him saying that? Very good point. We don't have the proof. Yeah, you're right. It's hearsay. This as well. You've been actually defending yourself saying that you never know who I was when I called you out last time about this. But I mean, like, am I like, am I right to say that if he's telling the truth, this is suspicious? Because like, again, if you're acting in good faith, you will never lie. Then why the fuck do you got images on your YouTube video that I've taken? You mm -hmm. never check other WoW content creators? Fuck off, you hypocrite. And that tweet was when he banned me. And of course, yeah, I, I banned his ass back. Now, the Blizzard <laughs> community fuck manager him. contacts me, asks me to take down this tweet because I'm publicly insulting another WoW content creator using such a foul language. Now, it's not only about wow content. I don't think that the Blizzard should be telling people what they can and can't say. Like, I, I really don't. I mean, obviously, it's their partner program, etc. But, like, them micromanaging interactions between content creators, I think this is really weird. Like, it, this, is a, this is an interaction between two people. It's not that bad. Why do they care? Yeah, this is, they have no right to tell him to delete tweets. Now, obviously he's part of their program so they can remove him from the program if he doesn't do what they say, but I still think that they're overstepping like what their responsibility is. Like if it was like hard harassment, like then yeah, I, I agree with it, right? But like th that's not, this is not hard harassment. It's not. Creator, it's about that I was in the WoW partnership, and he's there as well. Tell him about that. That both he should put out a guide with an error to see if they fuck it up. Pull a Tyrion, uh, Tyrion Lannister on him. That's a really smart idea. That's a really smart idea. Us are in there, so I shouldn't insult him. I told the respect to that, right now, and I took obviously. it down. I told the entire yeah. story to the community manager, and the community manager said they will look into this. Okay. So this was in end of April. The day after, I sent another message. The to community the... manager doesn't have any resources to look into it at all. They can't figure any of this out because they don't have the tools to do so. Community manager. And I said... If to... Mr. <laughs> Moody really wanted to impact Mr. GM, he'd stop making content. 
<laughs> yeah, if you really believe that he makes all of your content off of your channel, just stop making content. And then he won't be like, what's he gonna do then? <laughs> it's actually so good. A, a message that Mr. GM has been insulting me on his stream. Because after the recent tweet, he insulted me back. What did he and say? he also laughed and said that he was the one that made sure that Blizzard will tell me to take down the tweet. So I said- That's by the way, that like, if that happened, and this is again, all hearsay, where's the, where's the clip of this? We never saw this. But if Mr. GM said that, that is super fucking cringe. That is massive, like huge crying to mommy and daddy energy massively fucking annoying like you're asking blizzard to bully somebody into taking down a tweet that's bad about get the fuck out of here what kind of pussy shit is that i i just like i mean i get if the guy is like fucking like doxing you like harassing your family like calling you like this is like an ongoing harassment campaign but like these are a few tweets man there's nothing, nothing like that, especially bragging about that, bro. And this to the community manager, what he's been doing. So instead of the community manager to say something like, okay, we would need to solve this. Instead, she said that I should contact Twitch about this. Uh, I started telling him weeks ago to stop and said he showed it on his stream, mocking me, trash telling telling his viewers that he blocked me and made me remove my posts on today's stream. What would you do if you were me? If I would be you... Uh, most likely, I will report to Twitter, Twitch. Um, well, it's also, like, the problem is that he doesn't, he's not showing any evidence, right? Like, for example, like, the Mr. GM thing, they can clearly say, hey, um, you made this tweet that's negative about Mr. GM, delete the tweet, because they can see the tweet. But, like, him saying, oh, Mr. GM said this, well, where's the evidence of that? Where's the evidence? Like, because it's one thing if, like, because there's no link to a clip, there's nothing about it or anything like that. So, like, no receipts equals no crime. And so, like, yeah. So, how could Blizzard possibly? So, they would have to take his word for it and then get mad at Mr. GM over something they don't even know is true. So, it's like, I don't blame Blizzard for not wanting to. This is why you should never get involved in this shit, by the way. This is a squabble between two content creators. Blizzard shouldn't have anything to do with this. So when I insulted him, I had to take it down directly. When he insulted me back, I should contact Twitch about it. Because you, there's no evidence of him doing it. it. It has nothing to do with it. I bet if, and maybe not, but I think, like, let's talk about a theoretical. If Mr. GM was shit-talking Moody on his stream... And Blizzard didn't tell him to stop while they tried to tell this guy to take down his tweet. That is a massive fucking double standard. And again, they shouldn't have been involved with it at all. According to the community. This is the dumbest shit I've seen in a while. I know. That's why it deserves my full attention. All right. It was also around this time where I published on WoW Partner mm -hmm. uh, Discord that people should respect other people's research and content creation and stop taking grant of them and using them and if you are you should at least refer and instead of trying to climb over each other we should hold hands and help each other out i didn't mention any climb over each other um, we should a, hold hands a content creator creates content not steals content i'm holding back a lot of my content because of this and i'm very tired of it i haven't posted content for the last few days because i'm waiting for some post about it to finish so my content doesn't get stolen it is so wrong and unhealthy to live like this i will be more than glad to work together instead of this we all have one common goal so let's help each other out and hold hands instead of climbing and stepping hold up most content creators steal content well it depends on what you define by steal for example, Nintendo views making videos about their game stealing. Nintendo also views modding their game stealing. Does Bethesda think that's stealing? No. They view emulation as stealing. Other companies don't. Some people views react, view reacts as stealing. Other people don't. I don't think it's fair to create a, um, just, uh, like a, a baseline and say, like, this is stealing. I don't think that it's necessarily stealing. Because stealing would have to imply ownership. And how could you own something that's the IP of another company? 
How could you, like, I, I don't think that it, it's fundamentally stealing at all. Now, it could be ethically stealing, but on a fundamental level, it, it, it's not stealing. Uh, also, like, you need proof for this. Like, I bet after this guy makes a guide, other people copy the guide on the Wowhead comments. Other people tell Mr. GM, and Mr. GM asks somebody in his chat, oh, where is this? And somebody says, oh, it's right here. Well, they might be reading it off of his website, but Mr. GM isn't under an obligation to know that. How could he know that? And help each other out. I didn't mention any name or anything like that on that on that message I did on, on Discord. So I thought if I do this, maybe, just maybe, Mr. GM will stop. Now we are in the, in summer this year. It kept going. It never stopped. The same freaking tape recorder over and over. Mm -hmm. I thought, shit, man, I need to stop him doing this shit. Like enough is enough. So okay. I wrote to my website. You're more than welcome to use any information for your own content, but please refer for content creators such as Mr. GM. It's oh, wrong quotes. and ethical. And I thought, <gasps> oh my God, the quotes. I love it. Look at this, bro. For content creators such as Mr. GM. Oh my God. It's wrong and ethical. And I thought if I do something like this, maybe. Here's what I used to do whenever I wanted to farm or figure out a guide. I would go to the Wowhead comments and I'd figure out what they said. And then I'd maybe look it up on YouTube and see what other people had an idea for. And then I would make that idea better. Like a good example of this is like what I did in because i can just go back to my own videos right so one of my oldest videos or older videos sunwell so what's up y'all it's me it's shippel asmongold and, and so anyway basically what i did is i pulled all the mobs together and then i aoe'd all of them down and this is something that other people had done before. Um, obviously, again, uh, you know, this character had full gear. And so I was able to do tons of damage on him. Actually, no, maybe this character sucked at this point. I know I geared him up later on. So I'm doing, like, massive big dick damage, killing all these mobs. And, like, a lot of other people had done this strategy, but they hadn't really done it as much. So this is my Warlock. And I kill all the mobs, and then I'm going to go ahead and loot everything here. Oh, wow, look at all the loot. Oh, my God, look at all the loot. Look at all the loot. Look at the loot. And so then what I did, this is one of the first things, is I put a teleporter down at the bottom so I could teleport through the wall and skip the entire run back. Nobody else had done that at this point, which saved over half of the time. I literally, like, 0.5x the entire farming method just by having that one ability you know <laughs> and it's a like blizzard blizzard hates you with this one little trick and it worked really well and i feel like that's the way a lot of people do things because that's the smart thing to do like i don't try to reinvent the wheel i never tried to do that i would try to see what the current wheel is and then make a better wheel than that you added to it though i did i added to it i made it better He would freaking stop so what did he do instead he went in on the stream didn't show this but start talking shit Ooh. about my content Ooh. about my website Ooh. that is so old school oh. and start laughing about it and so on so bro i'm gonna be real the website needs work you look at max roll you look at wowhead these websites are way better and i get that it's your hobby but you would have more people to go to your website if it was better uh better designed and I'm not trying to shit on you. Like, I probably couldn't make a better website. Mr. GM probably couldn't make a better website. What's he talking shit for? But I'm talking about in the eyes of a consumer. That's just the truth. When I uh, had this thing on the website, some other creators saw it before I removed it. And uh, actually, one of the creators contacted me and said, I should take it down because it's only going to get worse towards me. And I thought, he's that person who told him that is right. Okay, I listened, I agreed. Yeah, I took it down, and that You're was the right. reason why I took it down. And then another creator contacted me. I'm not gonna say the stuff over, of course, but it says, just wondering, what have they stolen from your content? 
as I don't think many people know if these allegations were true. I wrote, hi, sorry, I didn't see the message earlier. There are many things, and I can make a full document about it, but I just wonder if it's worth it with the time and effort. What well, I mean, it obviously is fucking worth it because wasn't this in July? I'm assuming J-U-L-I is either July or June. Like, bro, this is like four months ago. Like, you should have just written this out. It's worth it for you, man. Like, here's the thing, is that this might seem like it's not important. It seems like that to me, too. However, it is very important to him. So, yeah, you should do it. Can be done. I removed the names on the website the same day because a YouTube friend told me it will only make it worse uh -huh. against me. Which it did by those two people. Especially Mr. GM trash talked my content on the last stream since then. Not mentioning any name though because he's smart about it. But many viewers in the chat knew. And he wrote back, to be honest, you're probably right. It makes it worse. The only it's thing it will do is to bring more attention to it. But what comes after that, I'm not sure. So it might be best to leave it. Nonetheless, that's up to you. What you're saying is conflicts with what Mr. GM has said, though. He mentioned that he's completely unaware of you. I think this is very strong secondary evidence here. Um, is that this is a second person that he's talking to that's completely independent of the situation that is simultaneously confirming that Mr. GM has said that he didn't know who Moody was. You see what I'm saying? And this was after he made a video using his pictures. Ooh, this is interesting. So we have uh, this guy right here, Eric Covington. This is the guy who was fired from Blizzard for making a joke about a goblin because Bobby Kodak took it a little bit too personally. I'm not kidding. Look into it. And he said this in response to this issue specifically. Game knowledge on the PTR is available to all and not everyone posts their findings at the same rate. Being possessive over who found what is pointless and petty. And then he goes on to say, while working on 10.07 content, I'd frequent many PTR streamers' Twitch chats using an alt account. I'd ask leading questions to help them test various things for me on stream so I could make... <laughs> Bro, this guy's playing the Illuminati on these PTR streamers. I love this. This is fucking hilarious. Um, to get, uh, yeah, see what happens if you hit it with a rock. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, okay. Fuck, it doesn't work. Oh God. Okay, we've got to fix that right now. It's coming out in a week. You know. Uh, this included both Mr. GM and Moody, among others. Yeah, exactly. I've helped both of them get interaction with the features because one posted about them first. They assumed the other stole from them when in truth, I was assisting both of them equally to find the info. So, so basically what this guy's saying is that the Illuminati doesn't pick favorites. Like they were both being helped by a guardian angel and it was the same guardian angel. Bro was playing God. Yeah, he was playing God. I love it. The puppet master. Yeah, he's like, no, no, he's not a puppet. You both are. He also oh, mentioned God. he's going to sort it out behind the scenes. So perhaps he reached out already. I hope it gets worked out. Now, in this message, there are three important things. Number one, yeah, this guy's playing needs chess proof. Playing I never checkers. thought that I had to prove this. Uh, I just, yeah, of course. I just want him to freaking stop. Well, I tried yeah, yeah, you have to prove it, man. Like, what do you mean? Like, you can't just go and say, hey, this guy's a scam artist, clown, bad person. And everybody's like, what? Really? Oh, my God. I hate him now. Like, that's not how the world works. You've got it. I mean, I, it's weird, man. How can you like, get to You've got a PhD in science. Like, don't you think people would want evidence? <laughs> Like, don't you think? Like, usually people, like, come on, man. And I understand how this happens. Is he so personally invested into it, he can't see the bigger picture. Because he's so personally invested. Different angles for him to understand what he's doing can't step and back. just yeah. fucking can't stop step it. Back. 
But now I need the proof. Number two. Yes. Mr. GM said that he's completely unaware Oops. of me, which is very funny. Because <clears throat> why is he using images on his YouTube that comes from me? All images is plural. He only showed one. He's literally unaware of me. And everything that has been happening since February, apparently he's totally unaware of me. And number three, Mr. GM did not contact me. I mean, so I don't believe that he was unaware of Moody. I know this guy. This guy's been in my chat before. Put this out behind the scenes. Mr. GM has never contacted me. All right, also midsummer. The Wild Partner program had an event to celebrate the 10.1.5 patch and the That's new Mega nice. Dungeon. Mr. Yang tweeted about it when he was having it and a print screen from the World of Warcraft original website. And this image also shows other creators. Mm -hmm. Now, my name was written above his name. He physically edited the original image and removed my no, name no way. from that list. No way. Okay. No way. No, 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 I don't believe it. Let me see it. Uh-uh. Nope. I don't believe this. This is so petty, I have to find out the truth. Dawn of the Infinite Community Day. Oh my god, I think it's actually true. Here's the tweet. And if you look at the picture right here that's being provided, uh, the picture is, in fact, the picture that's provided on the video. And it shows that Moody's name is removed because it was Mimic and then Mr. GM. And then if you go over and you look at the actual tweet on the Blizzard website, you would see Mundo right there in between the two of them. So where did he go? Holy fuck, he actually edited it out. Oh my god. Bro, how many of you guys feel like this right now? I mean, shit. God damn. Holy fuck. This is this is really getting special. Moved my name from that list. Okay, a little bit end of July-ish. Another creator found out that you can buy Scare Vault keys from the vendor in the Forbidden Reach mm -hmm. and tweeted about it. This is what Mr. GM did, which shows in what way he find things and tweet about it as if he's the founder okay zero credit <clears throat> to the founder oh do you know what i did here finally we have a clip here we go finally there is a clip i heard a vicious rumor chat i heard a vicious rumor about something you ready i'm gonna tweet about it in a minute as well let's go over to the forbidden reach <laughs> you can buy keys for 50 supplies but I'm tweeting about it right now you can now buy Scara vault keys uh huh is it 50? dragon all supplies that's so cheap here we have back-to-back -back tweets I made about Warcraft Rumble, and this was before they re- Wait, that was it? He didn't claim to find it. Yeah, he didn't claim to find it. He says, uh, no, he didn't claim to- Yeah, he said he heard a rumor. And if he heard a rumor, if I had a Blizzard fucking employee telling me something, I would probably say it in the way of, I heard a rumor. So I don't think this really, I don't think this is that strong of evidence. Do we believe the dev employee? Yes, I would believe the developer employee. I would believe him because he has no reason, he has no stake in this. East Warcraft Rumble into Sweden and many other countries. 
for some reason, I was very lucky that I could still play Warcraft Rumble mm -hmm. through the beta. And what I did was that I tweeted about it, I streamed about it, etc. And I wrote like, oh shit, I can do, I can do this. This is so yeah. weird that I can do this. And, you know, that it's still closed and stuff like that. Yes. And then on my stream, I asked the Swedish people if they can actually go in and they couldn't. So it turned out it was like more or less just me. Now that said, let's watch the next one. Because I, you know, we were just talking about it yesterday, and you guys, some of the guys didn't know it was out, like on soft lawn. So I thought it'd be really good, but I don't know. I mean, it's out in Sweden. I think they opened up Sweden yesterday. I saw a few tweets yesterday about that. I think so, anyway. The next one we're gonna look at is about. I don't know. I don't think this one's. I don't know, man. Guys, I just don't know. He looks guilty. The thing is, like, he does look guilty. He does. Especially looking like that, bro. That's him looking on his second monitor at Moody's website. He's like, what am I going to steal next? What? He's trying to refresh it. Why need a new video? I don't know, man. He heard from a tweet, but still no credit. Yeah, but he doesn't have to give people credit for a tweet, man. God damn. No wonder Moody's website looks like a menu. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is fucking ridiculous. The next one we're going to look at is about that he's tweeting that people have serious issues that they actually log out and switch to. How is this a, two, a huge W when it takes two seconds to open your page in incognito mode where you don't have your banned account saved and still hate watch? What? If you have to log out or switch to incognito because you're banned to watch a streamer you don't like, you legit have some serious problems. I think Mr. GM is right. I do. I think he's right about this. That's true. Yeah. Incognito, whatever, to watch people stream. And I think that is very, very funny because that's literally what he's doing to my streams. What? A lot of things I do, I always put oh, on... Oh, wait, 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 wait. So you're saying that Mr. GM is watching your streams on Incognito. How do you know that? YouTube as well. So we're going to take a look at those videos and some clips from there. Sans don't is there. Here we are. We know that in Dragon... You can activate so that if you drag a ride and you're in a party with someone, they can ride with you, right? Yeah. Dragon Link, like a Dragon Baby, and just fly with you, right? Now, hopefully it's going to be the same when you are in Candle. Now, what if you turn into a sandstone boat, someone jumps up and rides with you, you have to activate it so that someone can actually ride with you. So that would be two players can, can ride along. That would be really cool. That would be like the first dragon ever where more than one per player can, can ride along. Purple Blood Fireball. Three boxes. I forgot about the mind control. I thought we just had to hit them out of it. I guess not. Oh, the Nightwing. Oh, yeah. Well, you transformed into it. Yeah, I got that one. Yeah, that was sick, actually. The cool, the most curious one to me, right, is they're adding the Sandstone Drake as a dragon riding mount. So does that mean that you can ride on someone's back while they dragon ride? How's that going to work? The new transform packs? Yeah. Did anyone buy it? Okay. Don't fly, man. Don't fly to me. I know you bought. Did you get your extra two on the Nintendo? All this stuff about that this is not good, this is not good. 80%. Yeah, go buy some trading tender. Did you guys, did anyone in the chat buy the traders tender, by the way? The 200 attendees at full Viddy? Any of you guys buy it? Be honest with me. Don't lie to me. That's forgetting reputation.
this is pristine. No fucking way, right? Like, no fucking way. Maybe, maybe Eric Covington was the jailer all along. Okay. What do you guys think? Do you think he, he stole it or not? You know what? Let's go even deeper. How's that gonna work? The new transport packs? Okay. Okay. Okay, let's listen to it again with the transcript of what Moody said. Fly, man. Don't fly to me. I know you bought. Did you get your All right, here we go. Tender? Here we go. All this stuff about that this is not good, this is not good. 80%. We go back, 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 we go. Yeah, go buy some trading tender. Did you guys, did anyone in the chat buy the traders tender, by the way? The 200 attendees at 450? Any of you guys buy it? Be honest with me. Don't lie to me. That we're getting reputation. That 50%. my god all right um this is so stupid i know <laughs> i know this is fucking ridiculous and the extra buff and i was talking about okay but that means that we, sh we need to check it out how it looks with soy dormy on 1015 and that reputation and i talk about like what that could mean with the launch of 1015 if it comes or it doesn't come Try again. Oh, yeah, the wind, winds of sanctuary. Or wait, or wait. Okay, let's try again. Oh, yeah, the wind, winds of sanctuary. What about that? Look now, no one's even mentioning it on chat. That probably affects the, uh, the new rep as well, doesn't it? I would imagine. Time rep rep. They gave us the reputation on, on Soy Dormi. So, uh, further up, I wrote, okay, they gave it to us. That means it should come before 11th of July. After 11th of July. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so after all this time, after man, man, I don't know. Points on a graph. There are points on a graph. Holy shit. Everything I, I tried to do, he continued. So this was the first time Wait. I contacted him personally. I wrote to him the following on Discord. I asked you since a long time ago to stop, stop stealing, my, stealing con my content. Content. You ignored it time after time. Then I tweeted calling you a cunt. Blizzard did not like that and asked me to remove it. I did that by respect. You trash talked me on your stream as if you made them do that and laughed at me. It's I unfortunate that we don't have any clips of Mr. GM shit talking him. I called you out to stop stealing content on my website. What did you do? You trash talked my website. Instead of stop stealing my content, you trash talk about me. Now, I'm telling you this personally, since you always show he just wants attention card. Stop stealing my fucking content. Do your own work. You are called a content creator. Then be one, not a content stealer. So for the last fucking time, stop it. There he did not is. answer me back. 
Instead, he did this. Dealing with some fucking prick. Um, it's run me for a loop now because he's such a fucking prick. Yeah, I had to block him. Yeah, I thought I'd I thought I'd block them everywhere, but apparently not on Discord, so I had to do that too. So he's Voldemorting Moody. That which will not be named. He won't even say his name. To be fair, though, most of these talking points would be spoken about by any WoW content creator, and that's the best part, is that we don't know. That's the best, because, like, there's, you don't, I think the best part of this is that we actually don't know. Like, there are some things that are very suspicious, but it's just... Oh, it, it, there's there's enough gray area to make it. This is more interesting, in my opinion, than the Shadowlands storyline. I really don't want to. Uh, there's more gray area okay here with, than in Sylvanas' storyline. To be honest, this is amazing. Leave me alone. Oh, there's some dickheads out there, man. Mm -hmm. There's some real dickheads out there. But hopefully, they shut the fuck up eventually and leave and leave me the fuck alone because I don't care. If a person says, stop stealing my content, and the answer is, leave me alone, I don't care. Yeah. What does that mean? It means they don't care. If a person and says, stop stealing alone. my content, and the answer is, I don't communicate with losers. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something I would say. <laughs> it's like I would say that. What does that mean? It means if a asshole. person says, stop stealing my content, and the answer is, don't want to respond, just want it to go away. What does that mean? Literally a day after. Now remember, that was the only time I messaged him. The day after, right. he goes out on his stream and starts insulting me again. And starts saying that I have been contacting him several times and several DMs. And I've been like over him in a certain way. And making me look like the bad guy in this whole situation. Oh, well, wait, 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 Mr. GM still in the chat? He's gone? That's too bad. He left. Uh, yep. Um, well, anyway. Um, easy to prove that this guy's a liar. In my opinion, if somebody lies about what you say in DMs, you should be able to leak the DMs. That's my rule. Like, if, if you say one thing happened and then something else happened, you should be able to leak it. Yeah, leak the DMs then. Let me see it. Because, like, Mr. GM is saying this guy harassed him in DMs before. And then this guy's saying he didn't do that. Okay, well, it seems like that's pretty obvious that we could figure out what happened. Of course... He's trying to like build up some kind of uh, lie and manipulation because he doesn't even say what it's all about. He just says that I have been messaging him several times, DM him several times, and insulting me. I've had uh -huh. enough of dickheads for this week, man. It's fucking annoying. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to get on and do my own shit. And I'm like just getting like fucking DMs and shit from. Fucking complete dickheads. I'm just trying to do my own shit. Just leave me alone. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> and it's like a dickhead that I've blocked everywhere as well and continues to, uh, continues to view my shit. What a fucking freak. And then we have an article that Chromie DE writes about in his website that you can actually unlock Scarlet. And the same morning from nowhere, Mr. GM does a video directly on it. And also streams about it. No credit at all to the founder. And the funny th I mean, I feel like, isn't it pretty easy to unlock the new Scarlet Monastery or the new old Scarlet Monastery? Do you really need to have credit for something like that? I don't really think that you do. It, it like, I, it is hard? It's not easy, okay. Isn't it just on Wowhead? Yeah. And that's the thing is like, there are multiple other sources. Like I bet, here's one thing I think that I'm sure of. Mr. GM has used other people's content to make his own content. 
Because I think everybody does that. And I did, I've done that. I bet Moody's probably done that once or twice. Everybody does that. But like, is he doing it in bad faith? Is the question. Thing is, he always put these peaks in all the time saying like, it's not about who's first, it's about like who has the best type of content. That's true. Which is quite funny when it comes to this. I've never made a video so fast in my life, by the way. It's such a short video, but I thought like it would be pretty important. Okay, next one we got. I sent a DM to the um, okay. community manager and I wrote following. This information is about that. Bro, I imagine being the community manager, man. Like, no wonder they quit. Bro, like, remember Josh? Like, Josh Allen? Bro, he is gone. He said, Lore? He said, fuck that. So, <laughs> I don't want to deal with this shit. Yeah. The information about the beforehand, clarity, how many side quests. I even know beforehand how something will turn out because it's always the same story and now you will witness it live when it comes these tweets are typical tweets that he has watched my guide and also meaning that he's doing the same guide he always start with something that might not be correct in my guide now this tweet doesn't mean anything yet he writes i hope we get some clarity on how how many campaign and side quests will be available week one of guardians of the dream i don't think what we currently have on ptr will all be there on the first week and then next stream, the Super Bloom World Event 10.2 no longer gives reputation on completion. And you'll get 1,000 Dream Warders rep from completing. What's so crazy about this is like he comes off as such a massive schizo, right? But like he comes off as like just a the biggest like insane fucking schizo like crazy person main character syndrome. But then he shows the video and it's like the same fucking thing. So it's like. Is it one of those situations where, like, he's not crazy, everybody else is crazy? Like, that's the best part about it, is it's like, he shows it, and it's so close. It's just, like, identical, almost. And then it's like, you see the video, you see the picture, and it, it's like it happens. It's like, bro, Mr. GM is driving this dude fucking crazy. And like, it's his delivery, yes, it's just the way he's doing it. Bro, it is the encapsulation of this. But holy fuck, it's, it's just, oh my god, he's gaslighting sword. yes, and it's just, what the fuck is this? Oh my god. It's like a horror movie and nobody believes him, yes, and Mr. GM is the fucking, the, the, the masked murderer. <laughs> weekly super bloom quest though and a continuum what i wrote any day now a guide will come out from him that has to do with reputation with dream wardens yeah same as i've done where i have gone in depth on how you can gain reputation in detailed numbers as usual he will state indirectly on his video something bad about my guide without mentioning any name and that his guide is better because it doesn't have that bad thing that he thinks well th somebody says mr gm lives in this guy's walls yeah but like what if he actually does though like, that, and, and like, that's the world that we're in, right? It's like, what if he is actually in the walls? And, and like, there's very strong evidence that suggests there might be something in the walls. Oh my God. Time-wise, it took three to four hours per day for approximately 18 days to figure out my reputation guide that I always did on stream. He plays ATT on live, retail, all day on his streams and jump on PTR some hours a week. Mm -hmm. As mentioned, this information is a heads up what's coming. And then I showed the video of the, the guy that I made on how you can gain reputation in all different ways and how fast you can actually get them on the first week later on. Well, there it is. All the research I've been doing three, four hours a day for 18 days in order to make a, the video guide, he made in some... Oh shit. Oh shit. This is all about the reputation of the Dream Wardens. And wait a second. Uh, just a minute, just a minute. I'm trying to see like, what's the date on this? It's the 20th of October. 
Okay. It's coming. And then I showed the video of the, the guide that I made on how you can gain reputation in all different ways. And this and is his fast guide right here. Dream Warden's Renown 21st week full guide. You can actually get them on the first week later on. Well. Okay. Which video came out first? October 15th? Mr. GM, October 20th. Hmm. Hmm. I think the best explanation for this is that this is kind of the way it's like. Is that there's a lot of dots and Moody is like this. But they don't really connect. But there are a lot of dots. He's still got more. So he thinks that Mr. GM stole this video. Now, let me ask you guys a question, a pretty simple question. Do you think Mr. GM watched Moody's video? before he made his own video. I don't know. There it is. All the research I've been doing, three, four hours a day for 18 days in order to make a, the video guide, he made in some hours. An exact copy. Now, if you look at these two video guides, they're very, 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 very similar. Someday. Oh, God. Later, Mr. GM posts reputation farming locations and waypoints. Now, if you look at my guide that I did 14th of October, so more than a week before, it was exactly that way. Reputation farming locations and the waypoints. Each single one of them. Loads of weeks of research to find all no these are the same waypoints that he had already posted he changed it no way though right wait you're saying so you're saying that he changed the waypoints no way right from his own no no way like no, there's no way this happened there's no way no it did not happen no, he didn't. He did not change them. Look, it's right next to each other. They're right next to each other. You can see them right there. They're not being changed. And the waypoints. Each single one of them. Loads of weeks of research to find all this out. While this person plays, plays TTS on the stream all day every day. And says that he does not work weekends. And only plays retail in his free time. So then you might wonder, but what have the community manager told me back? Well, nothing. Except, Duh, that's what I would say if I was community manager. I'd be like, uh -huh. For the day when I go to the community manager that I'm making a video about this whole thing and what they're going to add in it. That's when the community manager reached me back. Now, the reach back was that they want me to make a document about this whole thing so this person can uh, bring the case to the, to the headquarters. And I said, smart, Blizzard W. Okay, you want to talk about this? Give me the receipts. Said, okay, I'll make that document. Sat with it the same night. The morning after, I got a message from the community manager again saying that... Uh, it Somebody says in chat, this is a very good question. Does Mr. GM normally include waypoints? What an incredibly good question. Let's take a look and see. No. No. 
Yes. Yes. Nope. Not, not, not strong enough. Yeah, it's 50-50. It has been brought up now with the headquarters. And my reaction was, okay, I haven't sent you the document. The commit manager also states that, unfortunately, they can't do anything about my claims. Duh. Also, they are more or less warning that I should avoid insulting other creators and respect the code of conduct. Because if you fail to do so, you get removed from the WoW partnership status. So here's my answer back. I think that it's very fair for Blizzard to say we don't want you guys harassing and insulting each other. But if Blizzard says that this guy can't talk about this problem in a professional way, then I think that's massively overreaching. In my opinion, it's kind of overreaching even like baseline insults. Like not everybody has to get along all the time, you know, like who cares? But like he should still be able to talk about it even if like if he's being professional about it. Regarding the content of your message, as there are several points that I find to be in They need to give those people over at Blizzard a raise. Whoever's working at Community Manager over at Blizzard, like, they need to get paid more money for this. Absolutely, yes. They are not paid enough. Firstly, I provide you with information not only regarding the theft of my content, but also regarding the repeated instances of insults directly towards me. Nah, bro, you don't, because you're just saying that he said that. Like, whenever Mr. GM says Moody's harassing me, here's the tweet where he's harassing me, and you were harassing him, you call him a cunt. Like, this is, I would say, I mean, we're not in Australia here. This is an offensive word. I mean, there's no, like... And also, like, you said it first. Like, I'm the kind of person that, like, I believe in self-defense. And I also believe in non-aggression. So, I don't think you should ever escalate things to being aggressive. But if somebody else does it, then you don't hold back. Do whatever you want to do. While you took immediate action upon my yeah, entry, my entry yeah. tweet, it appears that no action has been taken when this individual continues to engage in such behavior towards me. In your response, you advise me to be mindful and avoiding insults and pressure towards other creators, emphasizing the importance of adhering the code of conduct. I want sure. to clarify that the tweet in question was an isolated incident, <clears throat> and I provide information specifically indicating that this individual is the one responsible for such behavior. However, it seems that information has been misconstrued, Ooh. resulting in misrepresentations of the facts. Ooh. Furthermore, you mentioned that failure to comply with the code of conduct may lead to removal of our partnership status, which is precisely what this, this individual has been doing. It's disheartening to see- it, But it's like, that's not really the code of conduct because it's like, they just don't want people insulting each other. Like, what do they do to get himself kicked out of the code of conduct? Like, where's the evidence of this? T that the information I provided has been distorted, falsely implying that I'm the one engaging in such behavior. Despite- Well, because your own tweets, man. I mean, you literally tweeted this shit out. Providing evidence of the individual's repeated- No, guys, your chat GPT didn't write this. Do you really think this dude that made a 30 minute video and has been going on about this for the last six months of his life, do you really think that he couldn't cobble together four paragraphs? No, bro. He probably wrote this in five minutes. No, he had this. He probably had this ready on a notepad. He just copy pasted it over. The manner in which this situation has been handled reflects poorly on your professionalism, as it is clear that it has been a one sided approach favoring a larger creator who happens to have a personal connection with you. Your actions in this matter have been inappropriate and unacceptable. I disagree with that. I think that Blizzard would have taken action, and I think Blizzard even said that they would take action if you provided information about it. I, I don't think it's fair for Moody to say, to expect Blizzard to take action without seeing evidence. Like, for example, Blizzard did take action against him whenever they saw evidence. 
but Moody isn't providing any real evidence. He's providing an implication. And also inside of the code of conduct, there's nothing about stealing content at all. It's got nothing to do with it. So to talk about failing to adhere to the code of conduct, this is got this is totally separate. Regarding the evidence, you instructed me to format it in a readable manner. They didn't give him the chance to send the evidence? I mean, the chance to send it. Why couldn't he just send the evidence? Why is he not showing it? Before it could be sent to the board. I have dedicated considerable time and effort throughout the day to prepare the evidence as requested. However, I'm perplexed by your statement that you have already sent it to the board. This statement contradicts the timeline and raises questions about the nature of the information that was sent. Overall, no, sent your yeah. message indicates a clear bias earlier. from the beginning, neglecting to acknowledge the behavior of the individual in question. I, I don't know. I don't like this because I feel like Moody has been like, and this is what happens, right? Whenever a situation like this happens to you, you feel like everybody's on the same page as you are. And the people that aren't are actively denying it. But I guarantee you that probably the community manager dealing with this, guaranteed they're reading it like this. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, and we're getting paid how much? Jesus. Fuck. Like, they don't, if they even read it at all, right? Like, they don't know really what happened. So I don't think it's fair for you to expect them to agree with your accusation. It's not fair for you to just like, oh, well, this is a bias because you're not agreeing with me. Didn't he submit several videos claiming something and they couldn't have seen that as evidence? Well, yeah, well, no, it's because the videos, every single video that he's shown is awfully suspicious but it's not evidence like it, it, it's awfully suspicious but it is also not evidence and also even if he is stealing the content what does this have to do with blizzard this is between two content creators blizzard can't tell this guy what to upload onto his channel this is it's outside of their purview I'm left in the dark regarding information you have presented to the board and the manner in which has been conveyed. This lack of impartiality raises concerns of corruption and discrimination. Consequently, I made the decision to withdraw my participation of the WoW Partner Program, as I cannot support an organization that conducts itself in such manner. I will take sure to inform others about the actions of Mr. GM and the way this matter has been handled, including the treatment I have received. So I left the WoW Partner okay. Program. Because I don't feel welcome there anymore. A community manager that is a good friend of his and that has neglected more or less everything I've been saying and not even giving me the chance. Good friend? Where is the evidence of that? This is just kind of thrown out there. That he is friends with the community manager and like, I, you know, where's the evidence of this? To give the document, why should I be in that kind of program? I wrote one tweet with an insult that I took Wait, down wow. a thing and not even giving me the chance to give the document. Why should I be in that? Wait, I thought they gave him the chance. I thought they said for him to send the document. Am I misunderstanding something? I thought Blizzard said for him to send the document. They didn't. Okay. Oh, well, I wrote one tweet with an insult that I took down. They the changed their mind where they reacted towards me, whereas he has over and over what's this here he made it before he finished they cut him off the next day they told him no maybe i misunderstood that part of the conversation publicly insulting me insulting my content insulting my website insulting everything that has to do with me and not a single action has been made instead a message where i should more or less just shut up or get kicked out well it's easy bye so there now you know. Now you know. Now you know. Holy shit. 
Holy dude, I cannot fucking believe I sat through that entire thing. Let's see what the court has to say. Who's in the right? Mr. GM? Moody. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Mr. G Mr. GM is losing. Six to one, almost seven to one. Oh my God, nobody believes Mr. GM. You know what's so fucking funny about this whole thing? Is that everybody is against Moody on Twitter. Everybody's against him. Everybody thinks he's crazy and an asshole and totally wrong. Everybody disagrees with him. And then on my stream, everybody is totally on, on, on his side. That's what's so fucking funny. Yes, we actually watched the 30-minute video. We analyzed the evidence. We cross-referenced it with Mr. GM's videos. We went through and read every single thing that he said word for word, and then we compared it against what Mr. GM said. We did as much of an investigation as we possibly could. Now, what do I think? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think that there's enough evidence. The truth is that there is not evidence. He, like, there is very close to evidence. And I don't think that he's completely wrong. I think there's another possibility if Moody uh, is right, Mr. GM doesn't have time to make these guides in his own words. Could it not be that he has someone else make the guides for him that are genuine and ripped off? GM could have been nicer instead of blocking and insulting him on stream. Well, we never heard the insults on stream, and I don't think that Mr. GM has any obligation to listen to insults himself. Fence sitter? Well, yes, I am fence sitting, because I don't think that we know which side to get off on yet. I think that, like, he has, like, a few really, really bits, really, really strong bits of evidence. And, like, the, the main thing that I think is, like, really, really weird, personally, is, all right, so there's a number of things. Number one, it's that he said that he didn't know who Moody was. And this was also confirmed by a second content creator that Moody was in DMs with. So there are two people saying the same thing that don't have a connection to each other. The odds are I believe it happened. So why is he saying something that he doesn't know who a person is whenever he used their stuff in his videos, right? That's number one. That is a very strong evidence of foul play. And the second thing, this is what's really special here, is the fact that Mr. GM photoshopped Moody's name off of this. That to me says mimic Mudo, Mr. GM. You look at the video, it says mimic Mr. GM. That is low. Those are, I think, the two points of evidence that are indisputable. There's the, there is the evidence. Now, is that enough evidence to say that Mr. GM is copying all of his videos? No. But it's enough evidence to, for me to assume that Mr. GM is not acting in 100% good faith. Either way, guys, I think we've talked about this enough. We've gone through it. Uh, according to the court of public opinion, the most fair and unbiased thing on the internet, Moody, who made a 31-minute video exposing Mr. GM for stealing his content, is actually right. And Mr. GM is a lying rat. That is according to the public opinion.
Personally, I don't entirely agree with that. I think it's very gray, but there are certainly a lot of coincidences. I love this. This is my favorite part about streaming. You guys might not know this, but I actually wanted to go to law school to be a lawyer uh, before I uh, dropped out to play video games. I love this. I do. I think it's just, it's so interesting. It's so fun for me. I could do this all day. This has improved my mood substantially. It's going to be a while for me to get that out of my head. I really want to know what's going to happen after this.